Hey everybody, I'm Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse, and I'm here for a guided chaplet. Um, so here's what's going on in my life right now. Um, my dad passed away at the beginning of February, and they had a memorial service for him in New Mexico right away. Um, but my mom is traveling in California right now, and so they're having a memorial service for him tomorrow. Um, they're in California at their old church. And so I just finished recording some memories for them to um, play a video there um, since I can't be there. So that's what's on my mind today. And so I thought, you know what, let's go with it. Let's pray for those who have lost loved ones and especially for families who have lost loved ones, but also for, you know, widows and, um, and stuff like that, um, individuals who have lost loved ones or friends who have lost loved ones. Um, it's, it's a hard time. It's a really, really hard time. Um, and I know that a lot of you have lost loved ones recently. So I just want to lift up these prayers for you yourself, if you're grieving and um, you can pray them for other people if you're not grieving at this time. Um, but you can also come back to this to pray for people as, as you know, um, friends and relatives who lose loved ones. So let's just go ahead and let me share my screen with you. And there we go. Okay. So um, as you probably know, but I never know when somebody's just joining us for the first time over here on the left, we have this image of Jesus and underneath it says, Jesus, I trust in you because that's the theme of the chaplet of divine mercy is Jesus. I trust in you. I trust in your mercy. I trust in your blood to cover me. And he's lifting his right hand in blessing. And I love the look on his face. It's so compassionate. And then he's holding his hand, and you can see the scar from the nail print there. He's holding his hand up to his heart, which is where he was pierced through the side, um, and water and blood flowed out. And so it shows the water and blood flowing out, um, which shows his mercy. And if you look at his feet, he's stepping towards you. He's coming towards you, blessing you. It's a very active blessing, not just a passive one. Um, so you can while we're praying, if you want to just look at that image, you're welcome to do that. Um, I, when, when you pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, it's normal to use a rosary. Um, I don't use that on this simply because I've found that it's really hard for you to be able to see the rosary and see exactly where I am. And um, so I use my fingers instead to count it five decades five sets of 10 and um, you're welcome to use a rosary you're welcome to use your fingers or you're welcome to just not worry about counting because i'm doing that for you okay so let's just go ahead and begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen so for this first part i always like to imagine jesus enveloping the whole world in his arms and especially these families that we're praying for who have lost a loved one so you expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. And then let's ask for our Mother Mary's help and intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And let's affirm our beliefs. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. All right. So our first decade, we're going to pray for peace that passes understanding. A lot of times, losing somebody brings about a lot of turmoil. Um, it brings about a lot of sorrow and um, yeah, I mean, I lost my husband two and a half years ago and uh, yeah, it was just, it was a really horrible time. So peace, I think is the number one thing that we want to be praying for those who have lost someone. Eternal father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. One of the things that I love about counting with my fingers on these videos, you know, if I count on my fingers at church, I just have my hands in my lap quietly, but I'm holding them up so that you can see them on the screen. And by the time that I finish the decade, my hands are raised in worship because of counting all 10 of those prayers. And it just really puts me into a worshipful mood. Sometimes what we do with our body helps to determine the attitude of our souls. Okay, so the second decade, we're going to pray for warm memories. And I thought of this especially because I just did a video on memories of my father. And so that God would just bring back those warm memories to family members and to friends. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In this decade, I'd like to pray for love from those around them. It really helps to have people around you when you're grieving who just love on you and can be compassionate towards you. So let's pray for many of those people, for each person who's grieving. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, 
soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And then for family unity, um, sometimes it's a problem, you know, everybody's their emotions are high and so you know for any reason there can be disruption in family unity but especially if there are things that have to be gone through and divided up and stuff um, that can cause problems and um, so just you know and making decisions just even like about the funeral or memorial service or what dad's going to wear in the coffin not that we've had this problem um, but I'm just saying you know those could be issues. So let's just pray for family unity for the families of those who have lost someone. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And finally, probably the most important thing, that everyone in the family would be brought to Jesus. And usually there's somebody in the family who doesn't know the Lord. And so um, we can just pray that they'll each be brought to Jesus. And sometimes experiencing a death is what it takes to make us wonder, even if we already know the Lord, it makes us think about the, our own death and the reality of that. And um, and that's not a bad thing to think about. That's, that's a really important thing, I think, to think about. So let's pray that everyone in the family would be brought to Jesus and that everyone's faith would be strengthened through this. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. And if you have a loved one or you know of somebody who has passed away and you'd like us to pray for them and for their family, go ahead and put their name down in the just in the um, comments below. And, you know, every once in a while, I'll come back through here and I'll check it and pray for them and other people. If you're watching this, if you can go down and, and pray for each person that's in there. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I know this is kind of a sad topic, but I know that our prayers are appreciated. Okay, I love you all. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.